So it just works to recompile applications like GIMP or OpenOffice to the phone, execute it, and you can use it. But of course, usability might not be what you expect. So if you use the stylus, then you can use the menu still, but it's not really the most friendly application to use. So even if our platforms are really powerful and they allow you to do everything, so port Quake to the device in a matter of minutes, um, you still have to think about the usability and make a user interface that's really adapted to the mobile device. So this is uh, K-Office from the KDE desktop uh, that was ported to the mobile device, the N900, uh, with the help of a Nokia team. It's now just a few at the moment, um, but it just shows how to make a minimal user interface it's easy to use with the fingers and still has the whole big uh, K Office engine in the background to display all the presentations and all the documents. Uh, so on Forum Nokia, if you are interested in design, if you want to think about what to do, we offer a lot of tools that aid in this aspect as well. So on this URL, Forum Nokia Com Design, you will find tools for almost every part of the design process. So Introductions, uh, you will find uh, other examples of how companies do a good design. Um, if there are designers among you, there are also new interaction design tools available that allow you to design the flow in the application. It's called Flowella. You just have multiple screenshots. You connect them, like if I click on this area, go to this screen. If I click there, go back to this screen. The nice thing is, with one click, you can upload it to the device and you have your prototype working without any flash required, uh, without any coding required, just to see is my application working nicely or not. So this was the part of the design 